Today we're making a burrow cocktail that if you were Eddie Murphy, you'd know exactly where to go to find a bride to get this. It's called the Queen's Cocktail. Pick up your cocktail glasses or your coops. It's time to make the Queen's Cocktail. This sounds like a five boroughs style cocktail. This is, I'm Derek, Ian, Borough Time. Queen's is a place in yes. New York City. Yes, it's one of the, one of the boroughs. One what, of the five do we have boroughs. any boroughs in, uh, in, in Boston? No. Well, we, we, have, we have areas. We got like Southie, we got like Back Bay. But they're not places. Are they in the map? Uh, I think you can Google you Back probably, Bay. Yeah. yeah. You probably Our mind. producer of the day is Aaron Turner. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, I thought you said it's undetermined. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that worked really well, but it's not right. Uh, undetermined Aaron Turner? It would have been funny. <laughs> Aaron is a new patron. So uh, this week, is there's a couple new patrons that roll in there, and it's going to be cool. Yeah. So this cocktail. Call it out. One half ounce of gin, half ounce dry vermouth, half ounce sweet vermouth, and an ounce pineapple juice. This was not easy to find, by the way. This the Queen's cocktail. The Queen's cocktail to get this specific how recipe. Is that, man? I'm glad you. I know. So we're using G-Vine today. G-Vine. It's a London Dry, made in France, um, and that would be the end. Did we finish it? Did we kill it? I did. This is this is like a six-year-old bottle, dude. Oh, it's that so good. Awesome. Oh, I could use this to put stuff in. That's there. a great bottle, man. I know. Um, so. You should use that bottle, man. That's a great bottle, man. I'm gonna. This drink, I found it. Oh, by the way, this is April 1st. This is gonna go on a Friday, even though we're doing them out of order, because the next one is a deconstruction. Um, Yay, deconstruction. Love this those. cocktail celebrates the real first. It's coming out on the first. That would be the day that I will be free from my bonds of work. You mean like April Fool's Day? Yeah, go figure. Oh, so, yeah. So is this whole, you're quitting Dude, your job, just a big joke? When I saw, when I picked that day, I'm like, ah, oh, this sucks. Maybe I'll make it the second. No, I wanna get out of work. So it's the first. <laughs> Um, this has a little we bit of history. See. It's I got... a good idea. We could even put our, our bar on the beach. A beach bar? 12 yeah. soapbox? Why are you going to go to a beach? In the winter, it'll be dead. Yeah. Yeah. We need a year round. No, you just shut it down. So then you don't have to deal with it in the wintertime. You need exclusive. Like, it's only open three nights a week on specific times. It's like a pop-up restaurant. It's a pop-up yeah. bar. Yeah, yeah, that way you know the work is hard. <laughs> I know. Um, How's that water treating you? Kind of watery. So, cool. This is a variant on the perfect martini with pineapple juice. In some cases, even a little bit of lemon juice. You might remember we made a drink that was called the Bronx. Remember the Bronx? The, the Brooklyn. Did we do a Brooklyn? Yeah, we did. Which one had uh, orange juice? Don't remember. Oh. What do I have orange juice is like that, but with uh, pineapple juice. So the pineapple juice, of course, makes a nice opaque drink with a good foamy head. Yeah, I like it. Always like that. Always like the pineapple juice. Uh, this is going to make a great picture one of these days. Yep. If Jennifer ever gets up and takes it. Yeah, I mean, she's busy doing stuff, but okay. she's, she's planning the bar out and That's stuff. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's all coming down. We've got the design. She's working on the sketches. Uh, the other thing to note is this is from 1930s Harry McCroddick's uh, Savoy cocktail book. Ah. So, oh, gosh. So, based so on our last week experience with Savoy cocktails, the Alaska. But, but research that was a very, suggested yeah. that Alaska number one wasn't from the Savoy cocktail book. It was the Alaska, which didn't have the sherry. The sherry, which was the component we thought. I should think it was just it gin and yeah. gin and chartreuse for the original. That I could see being much I could, better. I could, I could buy that. Yeah, yeah. So we might have to try an Alaska someday because the Alaska number one was a number two. <laughs> Make mouth fart noises. Or is that Leah in the corner? Mm -mm. Okay, that was you. Instead of the number two. Oh, jeez. Wow. That's an interesting drink. It is. It's just because the, the vermouth is really different. The, it's But it comes really late. And, and the... Uh, using the G-Vine, yeah. there's a little bit of a floral characteristic to the gin, which I believe comes through in this. It would be worse if you used G-Vine Floraison, which actually has yeah. the floral grape components to it. But I kind of like this. It, it wouldn't be something I'm I'd drink a lot of. I'm on the kind of side. Yeah. I'm on the... You know what it is? This thing was like a ninja, like Ninja Guide and style. Just came in and swooped in with a nunchuck. You know what's funny? Right. I was ninja just thinking star. this. Ninja Guide. We have like <laughs> similar tastes. My taste has probably evolved to meet your taste. It reminds me of like, I don't know if it's a myth or anything, but when women are together and friends for a long so time. So cycles? Their cycles kind of sync up. I think is our tastes have synced up. Does that really happen? I, I'm, I don't know. I think it is. Okay. That's weird. I think it happens to dogs too. Okay, so that's still weird. It must be so, something to do with something in history that makes so, it convenient for people. So we have uh, 
So we oh, wait. Taste wait. menstruation going on right here. <laughs> Our taste menstruation has cycled together. Yes. Can that be some sort of like? Mm. That, is that a thing? Yeah, it is now. So, here here's the thing. This is <laughs> trying to use words that would make sense to us. But not everybody. Not everybody. No. Look. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. I'm gonna drink this again because I yeah. need I need my taste reminders to fire again. Yeah. The, the vermouth is coming out in this. I'm getting the dry vermouth, but not the sweet vermouth so much. I think the sweet vermouth might be a little bit lost in the pineapple. But the gin, the floralness yep. of the gin that we use comes through. The pineapple comes through. It's not a poorly balanced drink, nope. I don't think. It's well balanced. The flavor of the vermouth is just a little bit different in there. And mm -hmm. it gives you a little bit of dryness in your tongue, which is different. Uh, I don't know how to describe the, it other than it's a little bit different. The, the fortified wine flavor against the pineapple juice is very unique mm -hmm. not bad i would also say not necessarily the best like i would this is a neat drinking experience it is it's easy to do and you may like it you may love it right if you've made any of the drinks in the past that we've done that have had any of the burrows in them you've had your sweet vermouth yeah. in your in your dry vermouth you might have via i know a couple people already said we, they picked up some via i like that um, myself i think it's good yeah you need to have a better vermouth don't just use dolan don't spend five dollars and say oh this drink sucks if you it might suck but it's probably yeah. gonna suck more or a better chance if you're buying a five dollar bottle of right. fortified wine um the thing that's weird is when you drink it it's got this this silky uh consistency of a pineapple juice cocktail yes. any type of tiki when right you, when you shake it it does when that. you shake it and but and it almost has like a sweet start pineapple i'm starting my brain at the point when i first took that sip yeah. was kind of i my, it just triggered off tiki like i was like oh lovely tiki drink and then you get that crazy uh floral berry not berry floral flower flowery gin floral flower huh? floral flowery it's a lot gin. like cold ice <laughs> <laughs> ice can be cold um <laughs> floral flowery gin flavor yes. i need three f's to complete that <laughs> boom try force <laughs> accepted and then <laughs> Then that the, the, the dry vermouth kind of comes in, right? Four triangles of dry force, actually. Yeah, I took the top one and carried it okay, away. Okay, fair enough. I'm getting north. No, um, the, the, it's just, it hits you this weird way where when I first tasted it, everything was like tiki. Mm -hmm. And then everything turned off and was like, not tiki. Dry Slow vermouth. down. Dry vermouth yeah. in there. This is just a little bit crazy. And my brain, it, it was enough to shudder my brain and go, whoa, that's not what I was expecting. <clears throat> This might be a drink that would be interesting to experiment with bitters. Good night. It, it would. I think this drink would experiment well with different styles of bitters. What, all what type of bitter would you want to put in that? To, would, it would, depends. Do you would, want to pair it against the floralness? Would you want to do like an orange style bitter, an orange type bitter? I. It's either that or. I wouldn't want to go too herbal with it. Because I, I also wouldn't want to go too aromatic. I wouldn't want to go too tiki spice. Yeah. Spice. You think spice? Corazon. Corazon. That's a good idea. Keep, you yeah, it keeps it away. Yeah, Jennifer won't care. You want to try this first, Jennifer? Or do you what? No, but uh, Remy no. has a no. question. I cannot drink Martini Rossi. What's your opinion on it? You, you, you're, you're, that means your palate is refined. Um, okay. Nobody should drink Martini Rossi. Are you talking like the the little tiny? I mean, they have some really good Martini Rossi that's expensive. Yeah. Then they have what you're probably buying, which is more than likely the six ninety nine uh, cheap stuff in a small little bottle that's curved like this. Ooh. You might not even be able to get good Martini Rossi. Cocoa with spice? At the end. Did you see my cocoa nibs? I'll have to show you my cocoa nibs right here. Um, <laughs> do we have to turn the camera off for that? No. Are we allowed to talk about that? Do you have to have like a special 21 and over warning before we start talking about that? We are 21 and over. And it doesn't need but a warning. It's a drinking show. Okay. <laughs> you no. might all, you might need to be 18 in, in Canada. I, I, I might not want to see coconuts. <laughs> well, you're going to have to. <laughs> you're going to smell them. <laughs> you're going to smell them and it's going to smell good. See, that's the burden of being a co-host. Mm. You're at the mercy of the host. You have to. Um, it's you're, a little drier now and not is. as sweet. And, it, and the, the bitter, sweet vermouth does come through a little bit. Yeah, the bitter comes out in the back end, which is... There is a crazy... I don't want to say chipotle. I don't know what it, that taste is, but there's a... a um, like a smoky pepper kind of. Mm -hmm. Like a, what's the word that you would use from Bloody Mary's? Savory. It's kind of got a savory component coming out. Yeah. It's a little bit savory. More, more savory? <laughs> <laughs> what, you can't just do Y-E-R? Savory-er. You can do it from Voyager. We should wrap this shit up. Yeah, you should.
stuff up. We should wrap this stuff up. All right. Queen's cocktail, yet right, another right. burrow. We might have the Bronx yet to do. I don't Do we do the Bronx cocktail? I don't I can't remember. remember. If there's any more burrows, we, we'll do them. But we might have seen last, yesterday, we did a Manhattan deconstruction, because I'm putting them out of order. Yes. Uh, we haven't done it yet, but you've We're seen done. it. And that covers another borough. Yeah. So we're going to cover everything in New York. Maybe someday we'll even go there and film stuff. We, we should just... go there and have a drink of every borough. No. Nope. Every borough. I want to go to the Dead Rabbit. Yeah, me too. You know what we need to do? We should give Jack and Gary a heads up. Maybe he'll let us come in and film. There you go. Yeah. What's up? What we need... I have to come up with a number of Patreon money and hey. say... Sorry. <laughs> she's going to do it again. <laughs> I can't finish your freaking... Thought. Hold that thought. Finish your thought. Don't let go. We need to come up with a number and say when we have X amount of money per month from Patreon that we can fund a trip to New York to like meet up with people, meet up and, and go do shots and that'd do media and stuff on, uh, on be, with the bar. That'd be great. Jen, your thought? There's a distillery in Nashville. Oh, no, we're, we're gonna go tour it. When? I don't know. We gotta pl make plans. Just let me know. Okay. Also, before we leave, I can back to mute. Make sure yes. you check out RetroQuest. <laughs> yes, it's your it's your, our, your gaming our, podcast our gaming that you're doing channel, with your son yeah. Liam. Yep, it's it's a, it's a play, play with the first forty with the first three videos were forty five minutes of from beginning to end of River City Ransom. Nice. We launched. What did we just put out there, Liam? Uh, Akari Warriors. Akari Warriors, and everybody's already told us how to get extra lives because we were so frustrated. It, it was a very short <laughs> video. The next one will be Zelda. We have Contra Zelda. in the can. We got Gauntlet Zelda. done. Zelda! Uh, Zelda! We did Contra. We we oh. used the, the cheat codes. New York money. New York money! Um, <laughs> New York money. <laughs> what else did we... We, didn't, we I don't know if we recorded anything else yet. We still got to do Castlevania. We got to re-record Super Dodgeball because the camera fa film ran out. Street Fighter. And Street Fighter. And there's going to be a lot of other ones. So if you have suggestions, go over to the RetroQuest channel. And um, check it out. I'll have it linked in here and down below so you can always find it. And then go over there. Give us some suggestions on games to play. Yeah. Some people already have. Kid Icarus. It's, I've got it loaded. Nice. I love Kid Icarus. Crispy bodies by the door. We're done. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> you were right. That has a... That does. It's yeah, more of a musky, like, uh, Compared earthy. to the Canadian Club. Yeah. Yeah. Which I wouldn't expect normally to get the muskiness out of the Jim Beam, but having compared it to something right. that's not musky at all, like the Canadian. Which I thought would be a rye anyway.